Good morning, loves. Yep, today's a yeah, today's gonna be a very beautiful day. But to tell you the truth, it's still gonna be cold like always, but not like freezing cold like it was yesterday. Things sort of warmed up yesterday, but it was still freezing cold as you imagine. So yeah. So for today's um today on my master my art masterpiece video, this is the second one I'm doing. Welcome to Denzel's Art Masterpieces Part Two, and I've got some more paintings that I I would love to show more that I would love to show to you guys. I know the first one I did was when I showed three. Um, one of them was on a was a one of the paintings was on famous Japanese wrestling legend Jushin Thunder Liger, and then we had one I did on my favorite BBC World News reporter Miss Lucy Hawkins, and the other one I did was to show. Um, to represent something for Valentine's Day. Yep, so if you haven't seen that video yet, feel free to check it out whenever you get the chance to. And if you come across it, feel free to check it out. So yeah. So for today's, I've got more paintings in store. I have been painting lately just to keep myself calm and relaxed like always. So get ready to show you some more. So give me one second. Alright my friends, I've got the, here's the painting I did, and this is my very first one I did as I started getting back into painting. This painting is on an old, a former boss I used to see all the time at work, and I miss seeing her very much, but I keep in touch with her as ever, as I text her every morning, letting her know how things are going, and how things are going with her, and, uh, and asking her how things are going with her, so yeah. So my painting is on... Um, a former boss of mine, and her name is Miss Boyle, and I just to let you all know, I work at TJ Maxx up in Wethersfield on Silestine Highway. I started working there when I was 20 years old, right after graduating from high school. And I remember Easter Seals helping me find a job, seeing how I wanted to go to school and all, but to tell you the truth, where I'm from, going to school costs us a lot of money, and then spending time in the work industry, I figured that it was time to go back to school, seeing how, with the pandemic and everything, so I didn't want to be on lockdown, so I had to do something to get me out of the house. And going back to school was a good thing, because I've been out of school for quite some time. And just to let you know, I'm still in school, so just to give you the heads up. So yeah. So here I go, here I go showing the first painting I did before I started doing other paintings. So yeah, here we go. And just to let you know, I like to do my paint, hold on. Sorry, just checking out something. Just to let you guys know, I like to do my painting. I like to do my paint, I like to paint pictures of people to make them feel good about themselves. So here we go on this one. This is the first painting I did on my former boss from TJ Maxx, Miss Boyle, as I used to call her. Super lovely mermaid because I could see her as a mermaid as ever. So let me show you the guy. Let me show you guys my first painting before I did other paintings. So here we go. Ta da! Right here. Yep. I'm sorry about the light. I don't know why it's always like that, but you know how it is as ever because I got a feeling that the background might be coming from the sun trying to reach, make its appearance. Give me one second. I'm sorry. Just make this straight. I am so sorry about that. Just trying to figure out, figure out how to get the light not in the way as ever. So, even though I got this on, so let me show you the painting again so you guys can see for yourselves. So yeah, this is the picture of my former boss from TJ Maxx, Miss Boyle. I remember showing this first to her. I remember first showing this to her, and she loved it so much that even her granddaughter loved it. Which I also plan to show the next painting. Yep. So if you guys are aware, so get ready. So yeah. So yeah, I'll hold this up so you guys can see for yourselves. 
I remember doing the tail and then the upper part of the body and then drawing in the loves, the hearts, doing them patterns like red, blue, red, blue, and you know it. So yeah, I was in the background a little bit more, but it was my first time doing the painting. So felt good to get back in the painting most likely as ever. Keep me calm and relaxed. So yeah. So I'll hold this up so you guys can see for yourselves. And again, sorry for trying to, sorry for shutting the lights off while doing this. I mean, I was trying to find a way not to get the light in this getting in the way because I feel like it'll just blind out the picture real badly. So yeah. So I'll hold this up so you guys can see for yourselves. This works better way. So I'll leave it like this, and I can tell that the sun is trying to rise, because I can sense the um, lightness from outside coming up. Yeah, you got the sunlight showing up as ever, but, you know, it'll try not to get in the way, most likely. All right, hold this for a few more minutes, and then move on to the next painting. Yeah, I can tell the sun's coming up. You know it. I'm sorry about this, you guys. I'm trying to do my best not to let the sun get in the way. So I'm going to leave it this way. So, yeah. Hope you guys can still see it. So, all should be good. Three, two. Okay. There you have it, my friends. That was the first painting I did, my very first one, as I got back in the painting. So, I'm going to move on to the next one. Yep, hang tight, my friends. All right. So, we're moving on to the next painting, and I've got a couple of them stores, so I'm trying to figure out which ones to give you. Okay, I think I got another painting in store, so yeah. But here's the next one. I did this next painting on another BBC World News reporter. I like her very much, and it's always good to see her. Lucy Haw to tell you the truth, Lucy Hawking will always be my favorite, no matter what I say as ever. She will always be my favorite as ever. So here's the next BBC World News reporter that I love seeing all the time on the BBC World News. And this one is on... BBC World News reporter, Miss Nula, Miss Nula McGovernor, who I've done a poem on before, and if she's watching this, Miss Nula, I also did a painting on you too, so get ready as I show this to all you loves of the next painting I have done, and this painting is on BBC World News reporter, Miss Nula Governor. ta-da, right here. Sorry about the background. My mom's in talking to a friend, so don't worry about it. So let me call this up so you loves can see for yourselves. Notice all the hearts as Valentine's Day was coming up, so you know how this was going. And if you wonder how long it takes me to do the paintings, it takes me usually about, I would say about three hours, but to tell you the truth, it takes me like two and a half hours to get done when I have to do the background. So I take my time going slowly and carefully, adding all details in. And I also posted this one on Facebook too. If you ever happen to come across it, just to let you all know, just to let you all know, just to let you all loves know, just what you love all you loves know so yeah I'm hold this up for a few more minutes and then I might introduce two more paintings and that will call it for today this morning so yeah Yes. 
Okay, my friends, that was that one. All right, we'll move on to the next page. And I have a very good one I'd like to show you guys because I did this one myself. So let me find this one. All right, my friends, we are on to the next painting. This is the third one, and I did this one myself. I did this on Valentine's Day. Yep, painting. I paint. Yep, I did this painting on my wrestling. I did this painting on a wrestling character that I created in my mind. Yeah, because I'm a huge wrestling fan, and I've been watching wrestling since I was 12. So yeah, so I created this character. I painted this character. Yep, I did this painting on my wrestling character. So yeah. And I also posted this painting on Facebook. If you ever happen to come across it, you will find it and see what and see what I put in there on the painting. So yeah. So get ready, my friends. As I get ready, my friends and loves. As I show you, get ready, loves. As I show, yeah, get ready, loves. As I show you my next painting. Um, my next painting on this re my next painting that you guys will enjoy very much. This one is on my wrestling character. And he's from Boston, Massachusetts, because Boston is my favorite place, my favorite, my favorite place to visit in the entire world, especially when you have the Boston Celtics and also the Boston Bruins, even the New England Patriots, even the Red Sox as ever. Boston will always be my favorite as ever. So yeah, get ready, my friends, as I show you my wrestling character in this painting, as I as his name is Mr. Boston Peter Bridge. Voila. Hold on. Just put it right here. Guys, continue. I guess you guys, can, yep. So here we go. This is my wrestling character, Mr. Boston, Peter Britt. Sorry about the sun. You know how it is. Trying to get in the way, most likely. This is my wrestling character. I'm so sorry about the sun. I see it's still trying to warm up, so yeah. So I'm so sorry about this. I just hate how the sun gets in the way, most likely. And see, there it goes right now. So yeah, I'm gonna put it like this right here so you guys can get a good looking good looking view of it. So here it is. Yep, this is my wrestling character. He's from Boston, Massachusetts. And you can definitely see him wearing the um the Boston Bruins gear representing his favorite um hockey team. Yes, to tell you the truth, I watch the Boston Bruins. My yes, I watch hockey, okay? I watch it all the time. It's fascinating, it's amazing. I like the Boston Bruins. They kick ass as ever. Boston will always be my favorite place to visit as ever. All right. Yeah, this is my favorite wrestling. This is my wrestling character. Yeah, wearing a ball, wearing his wrestling in ring gear, as he represents his favorite hockey. As he wears, as he represents his favorite hockey team on his wrestling ring gear, the Boston Bruins, paying homage to the Boston Bruins as ever. And if the Boston Bruins are watching this, I hope they get. I hope they see this with their own eyes. Because this is my wrestling character. And you can tell the debut happened on Valentine's Day. Period. So if you come across this on Facebook, feel free to check it out. Sorry, the sun just really starting to brighten in everything. So, yeah. So I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see for yourselves. I'm going to hold this up for a few more minutes. And then I'm going to move on to the, to the last painting. And this will call it for today, this morning. Hang tight, loves. In about four minutes, I'm gonna wrap this up and then move on to the next painting and then call this for today and this morning. So I'm gonna hold this up. Mr. Boston, Peter Bridge, 
That's my wrestling character. And that's his, and Mr. Boston is his wrestling nickname. Because he represents being talented as ever. Yeah. Almost there. Uh, yeah. Okay. There you have it. All right, my friends. Yeah. Alright, we are moving on to the final painting, and this will be it for today, this morning. So, I'm trying to figure out one more painting I have in store to show you guys. So, let me see. Okay, my friends, I've got one more painting, and you're going to love this one because, to tell you the truth, with the wrestling world going on, we've seen the one thing that's really evolved as ever, and that's women's wrestling. And and, tell you, and let me tell you this, women's wrestling has really evolved as ever. I mean, take a look how NXT got the women's res revolution, got the women's wrestling revolution going on. I mean, you had stars that were in NXT getting started and then moved up to the main roster in the WWE. You got girls like Sasha. Banks, Bailey, Charlotte, and everyone that used to be the, in the women's revolution. So you take a look at what's happening right now, and the women's revolution was really buzzing as ever. So allow me to show you, yeah, a wrestling character I created in my mind. And you're going to love this one because I came up with her in my mind as ever because I like to be creative as ever. Creativity is my thing and always has been, always will be, no, no matter what. So, yeah, creativity. Always been my thing as ever. Always have been. Always will be. So no matter what, as ever. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so here we go. Time to show you um my rest. This is my female wrestling character. Oh wait, I want to show you my yeah. I created this female wrestling character in my head. Yeah. And this. You're gonna love this one, so allow me to show you this. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, the lights in the way, so sorry, got the conversation going on. So let me tell you about this wrestling female character. This is a painting picture of my of my female wrestling character. Even though I'm not gonna be her because I'm a dude, just to put it that way. This is a wrestling character in my that I created in my head. And her name is Kira Walsh. I call the crossface machine because the crossface is her finishing submission hole. And a lot of people have used the crossface as ever. You all remember um former WWE superstar who passed away in 07, Mr. Crippler Cross Mr. Crossface Crippler, Chris Benoit. He was known for locking his opponents in the crossface, whether ending them by pinfall or submission. Mostly he won his matches by submission, locking his opponents in the crossface. I'm sorry about the light. It's getting in the way as ever because you got the sun rising. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I keep hearing the conversation back. So this is my cross. So this is Carol Walsh, the cross face machine. And you can see her holding up the WWE world title, as I call it. The w this is the WWE Women's World Title. Yep, let everyone know that women's wrestling has definitely evolved and has, gotten, and has reached the biggest standard point of women's wrestling. Yep, it's evolved like you've never seen before, especially in the way of skyrocketing to the top. And you got the stars up here. Let her know that she has made it to the top, especially as a champion, reaching the WWE Women's World Title. 
So this is a very good painting that I have done. And I was glad to do this. Yep. I want to do it on someone else, but this was a creative character from my mind. The wrestling character from my mind as ever. And I'm glad I got to put this in. So, And, I, and you got to love women's wrestling. It's been kicking the ass ever since. So you got to love that as ever. So back then, women's wrestling was good, but it was only when you saw something that, that would get your eyes. I think something that would happen in a... You know what I mean, how the old days were. Because now, take a look at the... Now, take a look at the, Take a look now these days with women's wrestling... Women's wrestling... Women's wrestling evolving straight to the top and skyrocketing. So this is it. So I'm gonna let you love to see this for yourselves. Uh, for you, all my friends, take a look at this. Let you. I'm gonna let you love to see this for yourself. See all the painting I've done. You got the stars, the title, and the end of it, and the fellow, and the love holding the crown in her hand. So yeah. Sorry, it's my mom making the background noise. So and I keep finding myself listening to her make all that noise. But I'm just trying to show you guys this. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry for that. So I apologize. Definitely. As ever. So let me hold this up for the next four, for the next few minutes. And then after this, I will wrap this up. Okay, four, three, two. All right, there you have it, my friends. All right, my friends, there you have it. Those are the four paintings I show you for today on this second video of Denzel's art masterpieces. I hope you all enjoyed them. And sorry for the commotion going on in the back room. It's my mom. It's the morning. She's just waking up, so you know how she is. And I always tend to find myself listening to her conversations, even though I don't want to, because I'm trying to do this here. And again, I apologize if that ever happened. So I just want to say, loves, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time of enjoying this um, uh, art masterpiece enjoying this art masterpiece video the second one so i hope you guys enjoy this thank you for your timing i hope you enjoyed this and i look forward to making another one for you guys to see in store so yeah thank you for your time and i hope you enjoyed this so i will see you the next time i make another um denzel's art masterpieces video so take care enjoy today stay warm Try to bundle up, even though they say it won't be like freezing cold like it was yesterday. But still try to bundle up just in case you don't get sick or anything. So thank you for your time. Take care and enjoy today.